Hey everyone, Moshe the Electric Israeli on FSD and I'm with my Tesla Model 3 2023 in the first snow of the season so the roads, the main roads like the one I'm on now is salted so it's just wet <coughs> and some of the secondary road and I will make sure to go on secondary roads uh, weren't so great in the morning now, the reason I didn't do this video first thing in the morning when the roads were not so plowed because full self drive didn't work. Okay, see here, full self drive may be degraded. That happens in any weather, any bad weather. But the cameras were blocked. Now, I didn't think about it, you know, I just got in the car, I cleaned the snow around the windshield and everything. And I drove and then I have about 10 minutes drive and, um, the car just wouldn't um, wouldn't uh, go on FSD. Now I'm gonna go make a left. I'm gonna make a left here because I want to go this secondary road. Ah, and this road is closed anyway, so forget it. I didn't even pay attention. So let's see. Yeah, I'm going this road, which is extremely beautiful. Absolutely, this is like Switzerland. Literally, Switzerland. It's very very pretty. And um, and uh, well, here's what here's what I'm going to say. The point is, I think the car will do fine. It, the car will get me to my destination. It's driving slow. There's not a lot of uh, snow on the ground itself. There's like, you know the salt and slush and whatever. So that's not my problem. The thing is, again, I was talked to you in my videos many, many, many times. I talked to you in my videos about the whole thing having to do with. Um, uh, autonomous car. So say it's next year, two years from now, and Tesla cars, whether it's this car or a version four or even the uh, the robo taxi, actual robo taxi, let's say already go. What do you do if you live in a state like I am where it's snow? So uh, obviously, so the owner can. Okay, so let's say before I let the car go on the road. You know, I clean it up. I make sure all the cameras are not blinded and all clean. Okay. Then the car goes. So now the road elements can be in a way that can start blocking the cameras. They're going to freeze and all that. Now, hopefully in the new models, in the new models, Tesla will have a, a you know, a camera cleaner. I know they have it in the model. No, in the cyber truck in the trunk. And there's a new camera I saw that may have liquid to clean but the point is the a pillar cameras sometimes the um the uh, uh you know the front camera okay see you know it asked me to take over did you see that did you see what just happened it okay here we go okay i made my case i made my case there's nothing going on as you see it's just snow there's nothing going on and he asked me to take over and i'm trying to re-engage and it's not re-engaging See, it's not re-engaging at all. So, uh, case in point, I just made my case. I think I can re-engage now. Okay, so it's re-engaging now. So what happened? <laughs> this is great. God in heaven, this is great. So here's an example. So let's say the car drives by itself. And this happened. Now, you're gonna tell me the uh, hardware four, maybe hardware five, it's gonna be much more advanced, but that's not going to make the cameras clean or snow, uh, icy colds or whatever it is coming from the trees you you saw a big chunk of snow hit my car you know so see, stuff like that so where does it work in san diego where it never rains uh, it works in places that it's always sunshine i mean what are you gonna do again i'm, I'm not i'm not bringing this up just to be uh you know an annoying but here it is i just showed you right now it took, I, I don't know why it asked me to take over the car i have no idea because it's engaged now. The full self drive is degraded, which means it may go, if I was on the highway now, it will not go 65 or 70. It will go maybe 50 or 60, because I've, I've, I've seen that many times. So, oh, the overwhelming majority of my FSD videos are just uh, in the in town, because, they, because it's more challenging. That's why I like to do that that way. So again, it's like a light snow, I would call it. Light snow, you know, going, you know, falling down and uh you know first thing in the morning again so when i i went to work when i parked my car 
when I got it out, you know, uh, the left side camera was blocked. So, you know, it's not, it's, it, it has to have some kind of human intervention. But what happened if it drives in the middle of, like it just happened to me, and won't stop. And you have two passengers or one passenger in the car. What are they going to do? Well, they can take over this car because this car is steering wheel and gear. I'm not saying that they would, but or they can. But be that as it may, <laughs> in that robot taxi with no steering wheel, then what happens? I don't think nobody can take take over the car because then those cars would be stolen. Okay. Anyway, the point is, guys, you see in your own eyes how challenging the challenges of, of full self drives are. Okay. And I can tell you, I've been driving autopilot FSD since 2018. I've literally maybe a half a million miles of. Tesla driving over the years, even more. And, and I'm telling you that it is, it is um, always has challenge in bad weather. Always, 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 always. Okay, so again, if Tesla is to honor their commitment to those who bought these cars with the older uh, uh, FSD computer, okay, I, I don't know, or the new cameras, I have no idea. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking, I have no idea what Tesla is going to do. But this is being the challenge of Tesla FSD from day one, from the beginning. From day one, it's always been the case uh, that it didn't perform well or stopped performing in a bad weather. Whether it's rain or heavy rain or sh uh, light, this is light snow. I guess I'm making, I made my point already, right? So um, I'm going to drive a little more, get into the neighborhood and see I, I mean again i don't think there's going to be any major issues i mean it is degraded but it is going it is going it's driving so uh let's see how uh how it uh, moves into the uh, uh into the world. now one more thing i don't know if these cars the tesla cars that exist today all seven million of them if they are uh, uh, able to um to uh, charge wirelessly because I never tried it. I don't know the answer. If you do, put in, put a comment. I don't know the answer. But if they if they don't, and wireless charging, which is a very good solution for uh, robot taxis, because otherwise this has to be a Tesla person in every supercharger to charge autonomous cars in a regular supercharger with a plug. Wireless is a different story, completely different story. The car can come head first and charge wirelessly. By the way, I hope you're enjoying the view here. I live in the mountains. It's very, very pretty. And, you know, I mean, the performance is great. It's going, you know, low, below the speed limit. Uh, it's 45, it's going 39. It senses the road conditions. It Because as, uh, FSD is degraded, so by default, it goes slower, which is fine. Everything is great. This is great. I'm not criticizing anything. I'm just pointing out to you what ifs, what ifs, what ifs, like you just saw. What if, what if, what if, like, like you just saw. So, um, so we'll see what happens. So that's another, another challenge, the uh, wireless charging, okay? It'd be great to charge it in a cable, in a supercharger, but somebody has to be there. And the car will know if it, if it sees that it's low, it will go to a, a supercharger. So we're gonna go around the neighborhood. I'm gonna try again to see if the car will go all the way to my driveway. There were some successes and some failures, some spectacular failures. One time, almost right into my mailbox, but I, I'm here to stop. So we're gonna go around and see if we can get into the uh, into the uh, mailbox. Uh, into the mailbox, <laughs> that, what a Freudian slip. If we go to the driveway, okay? So here we go, we're making a right into the neighborhood. So all the roads are clean, they are slippery though. They're very, very slippery. I can tell you that. Very, very slippery. But, you know, we're going. Slowly but surely, we're going. Um, okay, we're gonna go around that street on the right, and then another right, and which lead us right into the uh, into driving. I can tell you that this is a rear wheel drive, and I, I drove to work in the morning, and, and my work has a hill, and the hill was covered with snow. It did some uh, nice uh, spectacular spinning, but it, it made it. This is not the all-wheel drive. If you live in a snowy area, get yourself the, the um, get yourself the uh, 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 all-wheel drive. Now I have 
uh, three Tesla so I can start sometime inter interchange. I took this one today because it's just not a lot of snow. So it was fine. But if it's heavy snow, I take the all wheel drive. Okay? So that's that. Okay, we're getting to our destination and we are going to see how we are going to make it in do the driveway. What do you think? Let's make a bet. I say she's going in. Who said she's going to the mailbox or anywhere else? Raise your hand, anyone? All right, there we go. It's a straight shot, as you can see, straight shot. No, not too much, uh, not too much uh, complication, but we'll see what happens. Okay, hold your breath. Don't hit my trash cans. Don't, don't hit my, uh, failure. <laughs> failure. You stink. Failure, failure, failure. Okay, you win, I lose. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.